Welcome to Amber Skies, I'm Blades, and yes, this is an update. Um, I had a to-do, so I've included Q-string instead of string, and what I've done is I've gone through all of the noty bits, put a slash star at the beginning, cleaned everything up, and put a star slash at the end, so that I can do that. And I've been through all of the the um, notes, as you can see, it comes up when I do that, that's lovely. But it also allowed me to do my cue string, so I've been through the whole file. You can probably use Control F and do a replace of uh, std colon colon string uh, for cue string. And now everything looks a bit more tidy. Um, but you can see now I've got cue string here on the materials we may we may have a one up here have we I don't think we have no that's usually all the data that's his most useful stuff this could be interesting um, right the way forwards is I would advise that you take a quick look on the YouTube channel let me just go there myself don't know if this will fit on the screen. Oh. Don't know if this will fit on the screen or not. Oh, good, he's got it there. Right, okay. Yeah, it'll fit. So I'll go to the YouTube channel. Um, learning C plus plus with Qt. There's twelve, twelve thingies here. Um, it takes you through the GUI system, open system, yeah, using models and everything else. But it also goes all the way up to the MVP part of OpenGL. And really, you need to get that far. If you do do it all, by the way, and you take the code in, you will end up with a good experimental place uh, for development, which you could use instead of what I'm doing here. That's what I really wanted to say, is that you don't have to just follow along, is that this can be an extension of that. Well, it is actually supposed to be an extension of that series. But because of the amount of um, videos that it's going to contain, I decided to make it its own series, because it really is. Uh, it's its own subject matter. It is, it is loading a file from... Um, some kind of hardware or whatever or from wherever off the internet or wherever so everything's been cleaned up I've been through everything and what I can't show you is I have actually designed um, a system for this I've just sat down and designed a system it's taken a, a little bit not a lot I can't show it unfortunately because if I try to it just covers my whole screen and this isn't my whole screen. <laughs> this is just a quarter of my screen. <laughs> yeah, not even that. So you're not going to see the whole thing. Thing is, we're going to do storage next, which means how to use all of this lot. So I have taken notes, for example, code here for myself. Um, I don't think I've got any tasks left. I've done all the tasks I set myself. So I've got the code cleaned up. We have uh, I've named it OBJ data structure dot H, so it's usable. And in the next episode, we are going to use this example here to open and start processing the file. So we are going to. Well, this is going to be uh, load or uh, OBJ load load OBJ load OBJ. Uh, yeah, let's name it load OBJ. So, so that's that's. God, my caps lock was on, wasn't it? Oh dear. L O. A D O B J. That's what I want. Um. So this is going to be a small file because all it's going to do is 
take a line. It will then decide what the line is and use or send it to the appropriate storage. So we are going to need a storage as well. So uh, let's just load the line and send it to storage. Now uh, we'll have storage here, please. Uh, store obj. There we go. Make sure that I know that's going to be a function of some kind. Right. So that's how this is going to work. It's going to be two files at this point using the same header, obviously. So we can include our obj data structure into these so that we can pass the structures around uh, if we need to but I don't think we really need to because I think we only need it in the store obj part and then once we've got everything stored we'll move on to the next step which is going to be an API to convert it into uh, OpenGL um, I think that's going to work nicely if we do it that way around. If it doesn't look right at any point, we'll stop and rethink. But the thoughts so far tell me that we're on the right track. And I have done this before, so I think we are on the right track. I don't think there's any problems at all. Right, that's the update. So... The way forward is going to be um, two files where we are going to load and store. We're going to store using vectors and really it's just going to be taking a string, break a string down um, and then push back the correct values. That's roughly how it goes and as we're using a queue string uh, it's going to be a relatively easy to do. Don't you worry. Q-string is ace. Um, yeah, I like this, so we're going to use it. And I think that bit there is going to protect us on the end of file marker um, from variations across different platforms. Uh, that's a good way of saying it. The cock-ups <laughs> that programmers make protect us from them. I think we've got a good way forwards, so I'll catch you in the next episode. And in the meantime, just take care and have fun.